Louisville, 48. Wake Forest, 21. I uh, just don't even know uh, how to begin on this. Wake Forest had uh, just... <laughs> just uh, Sam Hartman threw three interceptions. Uh, Griffiths threw one interception. Uh, then they had four fumbles. They uh, they lost. They had five fumbles. They lost four of them. This is uh, Double O'Neill said. Okay, so who's in? Uh, uh, we'll we'll talk about that here in a minute. We'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, in zone six. Yeah, they said Miami hold my beer. Eight turnovers in one court. Yeah, this was beyond absurd. Uh, let me go on and pull up the the drive chart here. Uh, Wake Forest. They get to the third quarter. Interception. Fumble, fumble, interception, fumble. That is five straight drives. Then they had to punt. They went three and out. And then interception, turnover on downs, turnover on downs. And they finally scored a late touchdown thanks to, uh, you know, another interception that was returned but then fumbled and given back to Wake Forest. Like it's uh, it, 82 Atlantic said Jeff Rom's going to have to wait one more season to get the Louisville job. Does this save Satterfield's job? Is that what this does? Like, do we do we take this as Louisville is like a really good team now because Wake Forest turned the ball over eight times against them? Like, this looked like Sam Hartman up against Wisconsin in that bowl game, like after the COVID season. Like, this this ain't the same Sam Hartman. I don't know what happened here, but it was beyond brutal. Like, it was rough. Uh, Hartman was twenty out of thirty five, two hundred seventy one yards, one touchdown, three picks, um, twelve. Rushing attempts for negative 24 yards, a lot of those sacks, etc. cetera. Uh, double and nil. Wake Forest lost because they turned the ball over too many times. Well, yeah. <laughs> this was a beating, and it I don't know how much of it was Louisville and how much of it was Wake Forest. And that's what's so concerning here is, I don't know. Uh, it was the first Louisville win against a top-10 team since 2016. So what do you make of this? I mean, Malik Cunningham was good, not great. Uh, 15 out of 23 passing, 164 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Uh, he had nine rushes for 38 yards. Like, okay. I, I just, I don't know what to do with this ball game. I don't think that this saves Satterfield's job. I just, I, it, this was a weird spot. Um, this game was tight up until play number 106. And then, you know, Double and said, not the same as the Oklahoma State loss. No, 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 no. Kansas State dominated that game. Wake Forest gave this one away. It was just completely different. Yeah, 35 points in the third quarter. Well, and that's because of turnovers, right? Just uh, You saw the drive chart. As soon as you got out of the half, you start with three plays, 13 yards, and then interception, and then fumble, and then fumble, and then interception, and then fumble. And this is all in the third quarter. And what do they do with those... Uh, with those turnovers. So the first one, they turned the ball over and downs, but then touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Like, and then you had pick six returns and fumble, all, all of that. All in that third quarter. The the number of drives in the third quarter compared to the fourth quarter, completely different. Like you can see this. Wake Forest had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven possessions in the third quarter. They had three in the fourth. Louisville had one, two, three, four, five possessions. In the third quarter, they had two in the fourth. Like turnovers, absolute turnovers. This was a beating of epic proportions, and it really wasn't that bad. Because when you look at the the stats, like it's it's not crazy. Four hundred ten total yards to four hundred two. Uh, Wake had way more passing yards. Uh, this was normal. Wake Forest twenty nine first downs to only nineteen. Um, Third downs, you know, 8 out of 16 for Wake Forest. Louisville was 4 out of 12. Like, you look at the stat sheet, and it doesn't look that crazy. Wake Forest ran 90 plays to only 65 for Louisville. But again, when you turn the ball over like that, yeah, the score is going to get lopsided. It's much like the Duke and Miami game. It's just nuts to watch. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.